Okay, what you're going to want to do is uh, when you get your Facebook page up, you're going to want to go to the settings section here. Click on that and go into edit name. And you're going to see that there's a place there for an alternate name. That's where you're going to put your call sign. And then you're going to make sure that that box below is checked. Include this on my timeline. Type in your password. Hit save changes. Go back out to your home page and voila, there's your call sign right there. Well, if you've watched the show a couple weeks ago when we did our field day episode, I kind of showed you the ins and the outs of the basics of N1MM. Well, another thing I want to show you now is what to do when a contest is over. A lot of these contests, you're not going to know until six months to up to a year down the road how well you placed uh, in your state, in the U.S., or in the world even. So another a way people like to uh, see how well they did uh, before the results are published is they post it on the 3830 reflector, which is 3830scores.com. So I'm going to show you how to post it on there, and so you can kind of keep track and see how well you did compared to everybody else. Of course, these are raw scores. These are not at, these are before they've taken off for any errors, but uh, it still gives you a good idea how well you did uh, compared to everybody else. All right, now the contest is over. You have your N1MM up. You're going to go over into the help section and re hit report s scores to 3830. And it'll bring you right to their website, providing you have internet uh, capability. Uh, most likely, the contest you just entered is going to be right there on that main page. You won't have to go hunting it down. Now, I played in the North American CUSO party for Riddy this last weekend, so I'm going to click that put in my email address and hit uh, send a copy to myself because this is what I'm going to use to repost it to my contesting uh, reflector. Uh, put the call sign, the class, the power, all the operators that participated. And uh, if you worked from somebody else's station, you want to put that there. I worked from WB9Z's location in Illinois for about four hours and my club is the Society of Midwest Contesters. Now I did not participate in an, as an individual teams under my contest group but that's where you would put that if you did. Uh, now here is where if uh, I'm, you're going to get your information to record uh, on this uh, submission form. Uh, so if you put up the stats right there it's going to tell you all the different CUSOs you made on each different band. Uh, on this contest I only worked one band so it's pretty easy but if you worked more than one band uh, this is where you can design and pull up all the different stats that you want you can uh, grab all these different fields uh, to be your column or your row uh, it's a pretty cool tool to to look at but since I only did the one band if you look here I have all my QSOs my multipliers and my score right there on my main uh, log entry uh, screen so I'm just going to use those numbers and enter my number of QSOs, the number of multipliers I had, and complete those totals down at the bottom. If you don't do that or if you add them up wrong, it will come back as an error. And I'll put my score in, which was 6400 and some change. And then below that is where you're going to want to put any comments, soapbox comments, things about propagation or antennas or issues you may have had. And then click Submit Score to the 3830 Reflector. All right, you're going to want to go back to the 3830scores.com and let's click on the North American CUSO party and let's see if my score is already up there. Now it should be up there. It's pretty fast. It uh, usually gets up there immediately. And uh, we can just see all these people have already posted to the reflector, which is a lot. And there I am, uh, way down there. There's my uh, scores I posted, and you can now see how you rank compared to everybody else. You can also, at any point, uh, click on any one of those call signings and get more detail. So say we go up here to K9CT. He's really good about putting some... Uh, definitely some informative uh, soapbox comments in there and you can read all about his comments and you can get full details on how he uh, what scores he got. You can also go up here to the top and put your call sign in there hit search and it's going to show all the contests I've submitted to the 3830 reflector. Now I can use this as a gauge to see how I did in all the other WPX contests. 
So I can set goals for this next one. They're all right there on one page for me. It's very handy.